diversity visa lottery interview. People do not know how that interview is all about. What type of questions are you expected to be asked and what are the correct answers you need to have in order to guarantee you to be given the visa. Remember, when you apply and win the diversity visa lottery, doesn't mean it's a guarantee to have or to be given the visa. There are other things. There will be interview for that. But the interview for the diversity visa lottery is one among the easiest, the fastest type of the interview you will ever have if you have ever been to the U.S. Embassy by any case. Why this type of visa interview is different and what type of the questions are they going to ask you? They are not going to ask you questions which are part of what we call non-immigrant visa. Remember, the non-immigrant visa is the visa type where you apply to go to the United States of America for a specified period of time, like you are going as a student for two years in master's program and expected to come back to your country, or to go for bachelor's degree for four years and expected to come back after finishing your studies. For that particular case, most of the questions for non-immigrant visas will be towards you proving that you'll be coming back to your home country. You don't have the, any type of intention to relocate and stay there permanently. But the good thing is the green card lottery is immigrant visa, meaning you are going to be sponsored by the U.S. government, guaranteed by the U.S. government to become permanent resident of the United States of America. For that case, they are not going to ask a question, show me the asset, tell me or prove to me that you'll be coming back to your home country. Tell me how much you, are, you love your country. Tell me how committed you are. They don't care all those kind of things. What then do they care about? They care and they ask the following things. Number one, they are going to ask you to prove to them that you are who you are meaning what is your passport what, are you the one who applied so that might be a simple question hello hello how are you give me your passport they want to use the passport to cross check if you are the one who applied for the dv lottery and the name and the picture is the same person they are dealing with that will be the first one but before that they will just congratulate you for winning the dv lottery before even they ask you anything then they are going to ask you about your education or work experience. This is the most crucial part. They will ask, what is your level, level of education? Oh, my level of education is bachelor's degree, is high school, is master's. Then show me the evidence, give me the certification, give me the transcript you have. You give to them the education. They might ask you, even if you have PhD, what do you do for a living? What's your current job? Or what business do you do? If you say you do a certain job, they might ask you, go the, do you have any documentation? Be, but because you already have work, enough education, they might not ask you specific documentation to prove. But if you don't have high school, they will ask you, what type of job do you do? How long have you been doing? And prove to them by showing you the evidences which you need to have. They expect things like a contract. They expect things like a letter from your employer or ID. All this, you need to have so many evidences to prove that you are who you are and you are working from there. You have recommendation letter. You have any proof and documentation, including even the phone number of your supervisor or the owner or the manager who can verify in case they want to prove that. So those are some of the questions they will be able to ask there. Some of the smaller questions they might ask you, so which is that are you going to live? Oh, I'm going to live in Virginia. I'm going to Washington, Seattle. I'm going to DC. I'm going to Virginia, wherever, Maryland, wherever it is. I'm going to Missouri, Kansas, wherever it is you want to say. You say they don't care. There is no right or wrong which is that you are going to stay. They might ask you, who is your host? Or what address are you going to stay? What is the relationship with that particular person? Oh, I'm going to stay to this particular person. Is my friend or is just the person I met on online? I was looking for host, is going to host me. They don't care. My host is my relative, my nephew, my uncle, my brother, my classmate, whatever. They don't care. As long as that person is not a king in criminal activities, they don't care. They might ask you a question What do you plan to do in America? It doesn't matter what answer you're going to, to, to say, as long as it's not a criminal related activity. 
if you say i haven't made a full decision yet maybe i might go to school maybe i want to become a doctor I went on during the military there is no that oh if you t we say this answer i want to work in the warehouse they're not going to give me the visa no those are just some few questions they might ask just for curiosity they want to know obviously you're not going to say you're going to do criminal activities so that will be good so after those questions you are good to go there are no many other questions that is steps or that processes it is less than three minutes if you are single if you are married you can go for five minutes and in the five minutes they might ask some few questions to your spouse or a child but those questions to a child or your derivative or dependent as a wife will not affect you in most cases for your visa because they might ask oh so are you excited to go uh if as a child what do you plan to study whatever they might just icebreaker type of questions but not specific to determine they might ask what's your education level but spouse education level has no impact in deciding whether to be given the visa or not to be given the visa so this is the easiest type of the interview three minutes for a single maximum five minutes for a married or someone who so, once you finish the interview, they will remain with their passport. Your passport will remain there. They will tell you, depending on the country where you are, either you come back on a certain day to check your passport, or they might tell you in some countries they will send to you through DHL or whatever certain location. So, depending on country to country. But within a week, maximum two weeks, you will have your passport. Once you have your passport, the visa stamp will be for six months to expire you must travel to the united states within those six months i advise you not to wait too long you never know another pandemic or something might happen so within a month or two if you, there is a possibility to travel just make sure that you travel and come to the united states of america and start your life there